grace of God, hard work and opportunity, it is an absolute honor to stand here as a member of parliament here, here. and the new finance critic for the Conservative Party. But this is not the reality for many newcomers and low-income families. Because of unjust inflation and rising taxes, it's impossible for families to make ends meet. When will this Liberal government have some mercy and get rid of this unjust triple, triple, tripling of the carbon tax? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to start by congratulating the member opposite for his new role, and I hope that we can work together to make life more affordable for Canadians and to work on uh, affordability, uh, just like his predecessor did when uh, their party supported uh, C30, which was a measure to double the GST benefit. I hope now that he can use the newfound power that he has in his critic role to challenge his own party and ask them why. Why are they obstructing our measures to make sure that kids who need it most can get their teeth fixed? Great Please use your power responsibly. Honourable Member for Calgary Forest Lawn. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are about to get hit with an almost 100% increase in their home heating and electricity bills just this winter. Banning and cancelling good energy products projects in Canada by this Liberal government has led to Canadians paying more for heating their homes, filling up their gas and buying groceries. Canadians are already, already suffering from Liberal-made inflation, rising rents and the carbon tax which they plan on tripling. Will the Liberal government end their plans to triple, triple, triple the carbon tax or do they want to leave Canadians in the dark and in the cold? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ten Prime Ministers ago, in 1970, a program was created to help Canadians face the impacts of natural catastrophe in, in this country. $8.5 billion have been paid since 1970, but a third, a third of that was paid in the last six years, Mr. Speaker. The cost of natural catastrophe is increasing in Canada. Go and talk to people in Atlantic Canada. If they don't care about the finances, then maybe they'll care about human suffering, Mr. Speaker, and loss of life due to climate change. They have nothing to say about that, Mr. Speaker. We do. Honourable Member for Lakelands. Well, Mr. Speaker, this government should actually be concerned about Canadians who are struggling to make ends meet. Now, Canada has shot rapidly up a global list. For what? for being the 25th most expensive country to live in out of 195. And even though a year ago the Bank of Canada governor talked about deflation, he now admits Canada's 40-year high inflation is increasingly self-inflicted by this government. Canadians can't afford to eat, heat or drive under the NDP Liberal Costly Coalition. So will they cancel their plans to triple, triple, triple their taxes on everything? The Honourable Minister of Employment. Health will have an opportunity very soon to vote in favour of C-22 and make life way more affordable for persons with disabilities living in poverty. You could also make life more affordable, sorry, one could also make life more affordable, Mr. Speaker, by voting in favour of dental for kids with disabilities or rent for low-income persons with disabilities. There's a lot of important decisions to be made and I hope the other side will understand how we can make life more affordable for everyone. Honourable Member for Lakeland. Mr. Speaker, it's these Liberals that are making life more expensive for every single Canadian. They're so out of touch. Health Healthy groceries are up 15%. Home heating costs will double for most Canadians this winter. It will triple, up 300% for some. And almost a million Canadians can't heat their homes already. Gas bills increased 50% since last year. Diesel spiked a record 13% this weekend. But these NDP Liberals are going to make everything more expensive and high taxes on all essential goods. So will they cancel their plans to triple, triple, triple their cruel carbon tax? The Honourable Minister for Families. Conservatives have an opportunity to demonstrate that they do care and want to help low-income Canadians. They have several opportunities, in fact. They could support the bill for dental care for low-income children to get their teeth fixed. They could support the bill that's going to put $500 into the pockets of low-income renters. They could support the bill that's going to provide a disability benefit for Canadians with disabilities. Mr. Speaker, there are lots of opportunities for Conservatives to demonstrate in this House how they, ha how they care for Canadians. I just don't understand why they won't. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.